Action. New model alert. We got the Stella. Hey, guys, how are we doing this week? Week number five, and Eric, we got something special. We do. I'm not looking at what I'm normally no, looking at here. Tell me what we got. Different route again. You guys have seen park models for the last four weeks. This week, week number five, we are bringing you a travel trailer. I love it. And not just any travel trailer. It looks to be a fifth wheel. It is a fifth wheel. So that's going to be something a little bit different yeah, we're going to have to talk about. So I'm excited for it. I love it. It's a total change of pace. Yeah. Um, and before we get into this, guys, I just need to do something here real quick because I've had I had someone talk to me this week a little bit about just how loyal we are and how much we truly believe in our product. So I figured I'd just shut this down real quick. And I want to let you guys know that over the weekend, what I do, I got our company logo oh, tattooed dang. on my face right here, right? So, Heck hey, yeah. if you guys see this right here, Utopian Villas, guys. This That's is here commitment. Until I die, okay? Uh, yeah. So we, we believe in our product, guys. We love our product. Don't, don't take our enthusiasm that we have for our product as pressure for you to buy it. We just believe that if you're looking for a tiny home, that our product is the best product for you. Yeah, guys, better believe it. Yeah, unbelievable. Eric, what about that painting in the back? What, what am I looking? You like that? It's cool. It's That's abstract. Cool. Yeah, I like abstract. What do you think I paid for that? Hundred bucks. Hundred bucks? Yeah. No, actually, it's priceless. My seven-year-old painted it for me. Landon. I thought it was pretty good. Yep. Shout out to Landon. Awesome. Thanks for the painting. Love awesome. it. All right, guys, you ready? We're gonna get into a video. Let's do it. All right, and here we go. Okay. So out outside, as you guys are looking at here, the middle is like a natural wood. Could be a cedar. Could be a dug fir. Something like that. Could be stained. Could be stained, yeah, any okay. color you want. And then the upper and lower, that blue you're seeing, that's a standing seam metal there. Okay. Very the ladies clean, out on the porch. Very modern, very clean line. So yep. a, a different exterior palette with the same model, it could definitely change the entire look. Yeah, absolutely. Absolutely. But I like it. Light windows. I like the blue. It's a perfect blue. Yep. I like it a lot. All right. Now coming inside. Wow. On the left here, we got some storage for you. So... That long hanging stuff can maybe throw a vacuum cleaner in some dresses, yep. whatever. Okay, I see pancakes. Yeah, pancakes. Love, love the that detail breakfast. there. Shelving. And then we're moving into this living room here. L-shaped couch. And we got a TV and a fireplace. TV, yeah, fireplace below, TV above. More storage up top. I love yeah. that. So, high ceilings in here for sure. Yeah, for, I mean, for a travel trailer, you're limited, right? But as high as you can get them, that's what we got them at. Okay, and this is a nice little workspace. Yeah, a little office area up here. Could be, I mean... Options are limited there, right? Just yeah. no space to do whatever you yeah, want. Yeah, depends on what the client's looking for. But yeah. holy cow, that drop-down porch. Yeah, that's. And we'll get a look at that here a little bit closer. That is here. unique. Okay, so yeah. perfect. That could be open shelving like that. Could be for clothing. Could we could have a hanging in there, right? Yeah, a lot of different yeah, options. options there. But that's a perfect little workspace. I mean, yeah. I would love that right there. And you have the outdoor patio behind you, and now you're overlooking the rest of the house as well. Yeah. Okay, so that's a better look there for sure. Yeah, coming on out here. Ladies are drinking their wine. I think we had that in the last video. Hey, that's what they right? do, right? So, so could I put a railing out there? Yeah, I mean, we didn't show where they're in, but of course, you know, you got a little kids so if you want safety up there. Yep. So, and then coming back in. So this view, I mean, of your home is incredible. It is. You know, you get to see everything. And it, it's all, it just opens it up. And that, that whole meshing of the living area and the kitchen area, it works so well. And that kitchen doesn't feel cramped. I hope we're going to get a little bit better look in there, yeah. but it, yeah. it, it's so inviting. Yeah, I mean, and, and, and again, it is a travel dress. You are limited, right? So DOT regulations, 8 foot 6 wide. That's right, okay. 13 foot 6 tall. That's as big as it can be without you having to get some special permits. But that gives me mobility, Jay, right? That yeah. gives me the ability to hook up and go whenever I want. Yep. Wow, look yeah. at this kitchen. Yeah. Nice big farm style sink. Look at those cappuccinos. You got hearts in the cappuccinos. Yeah, I mean, that detail, right? You guys, Chris is a rock star with this. Yeah. Perfect little dessert so there. Hey, there. plenty of area to store all of your mugs, yeah. your wine glasses, plates, okay? Yeah. Now we're going into a and freaking beautiful bathroom. Yeah. I mean, again, for a travel chair, it's a nice bathroom. Someone's got the water on there. Yeah, I got the water on. Show you Toothbrushes, like. mirror, medicine cabinet, some okay. shelving space. Nice little shower. Oh, wow. Check that out. That shower oh, looks got, like a that's fire gonna, That'll wash you. Yeah, you, you, if you're dirty, you're going in there, yeah. you're coming out clean, baby. Yeah. And that's a standard full-size Kohler, uh, Kohler uh, fiberglass shower module, yeah. guys. Absolutely. Nice stairs. I love how we utilize the space under the stairs. Yeah, some storage under Nice there. fridge. And then we're moving up into that loft area where now, I'm assuming master this is, bedroom. Okay, this is the master bedroom. Yeah. All right. And the shiplap on the ceiling that's awesome. Yeah. It really adds a nice little detail. Yeah, it's it's a cool look. And we you know we stayed all white in in the interior, so keep it really okay. bright in there. Okay, okay. Is that a skylight? That's a skylight. That is huge. Yeah. What is the size of that? Four foot by four foot. Wow. Yeah. 
Yeah. I can only imagine laying down on that bed at night, looking up at the stars, man. Watching for that comet. Jeez. You know? I mean, that yeah. talk about an experience. And, again, people are mobile with these kind of units, so they're going all over the yeah. place. Yeah, and, and keep in mind, that skylight over over the head of you gives you extra headroom. So if you're sitting up in bed, you got that extra headroom if you okay. want. And you, and you can sit up if you want, normally not hit the ceiling, but it just feels more sure. open. How much headroom am I getting? Another eight inches. Eight okay. inches. Wow. There. And that's so. perfect because it's right over the bed where I would need it. So, And, guys, just real quick, you're seeing on the right, that's that washer and dryer stack up okay. behind Behind the little bifold? Yep. Okay. And, again, now perfect. We're seeing more of the stairs. I love that. I love the fridge. It's a regular apartment-style fridge, yep. right? And more storage underneath there. Yeah. I like how you left the stairs open, too. I don't think you need railings there. I think it looks really nice. Yeah. And, again, nice little corner shelving there. And this is a perfect little eating nook area. You have the window to look out there. I think yeah. you guys killed it. I mean, this is this is an awesome unit. Yeah, it turned out fantastic. Oh, wow. This is the upstairs again? Oh, yeah. Check this out. Okay, so talking about the stars, man. Holy yeah. crap. Oh, my God. Talk about setting the mood, yeah. man. That's it. That's it, man. Beautiful. Now you guys get an at-night kind of vision of what this looks like. I yeah. mean, that's something you guys are spoiling yeah, us again. It's, it's amazing. And, and think about, you know, right where you are, if you're mobile at this, I mean, we are in different parts of the country. Awesome. Awesome. I love it. All right, let's jump into the floor plan, guys. Okay. All right, and here's here's where we're looking at. So, again, so, when the video started, we talked about this, the wood. Yep. And the wood, even no. in, the, in the video, it was a little bit more natural. So this has a little bit of a stain to it, which yeah. I like. I do yeah. like it. Yeah, I mean, you got some options with that. I mean, you can, you know, sky's the limit. Yep. I mean, textures and materials. And, and show them there, Jay, where the actual tr trailer would be hooked up to the truck. So the gooseneck, to explain that, guys, in the bed of the truck, you would actually have a, a ball that that would then hook up to. And that's the difference between a, a bumper pull, pull behind, and what we would call a gooseneck or fifth yeah. wheel. And and with remember with the gooseneck, I mean, this does require typically a bigger truck. I mean, yep. a house like this, guys, one ton. Yeah. You know, maybe you could get away with twenty five hundred, but you know, we'd recommend a one ton for something like this. It's just a big this is a big house. Yeah. So all right, moving down to that floor plan here, that top view. Little picture there inside. Yeah. The pictures are nothing now that you guys have yeah. given us that that walkthrough. I mean it's amazing. Yeah, the walkthroughs have been nope, nobody else is doing that. I have not seen anyone else doing walkthroughs yeah. like this. Every single week we're giving them something. Yeah. It, it takes a lot of time, but Chris is killing it. So he is. All right. So coming in, we came in that video here. We had the closet on that left that you guys saw. Yep. Straight ahead, we had them pancakes. And Eric, I know you like them pancakes. That's right. I eat a lot. And then living room here, that L-shaped couch, fireplace on the bottom, and then that TV, of course, on the top. Mm -hmm. And then don't forget, we had that shelving that was above all that. All the way across. Yeah. Yep. Books, plants, all that good yep. stuff. And then we came up into this office area here. The lady was sitting there working on her laptop, and you had that storage right here as well. Yep. And now, one thing I'll mention, and correct me if I'm wrong, Jay, but that office where we have it labeled office, that's seven feet. That's what we're going to consider a bonus room because it is a fifth wheel. In a normal travel trailer, you would not have that bonus space yeah, up there, right? You, you would just want to get it. So it's it's nice. And then we got that balcony. It's where the girls are out there drinking that wine again, yep. Yep. just like last week. And, so. that, and that's awesome. It's, it's such a little a small feature. But a way to bring the outdoors in and the indoors out, people love that. that yeah. That's a huge feature for us. Yeah. And then coming into this kitchen, sinks right here. We had that stackable washer and dryer right here. Yep, that's a necessity. And then on the other side, we had the fridge and then your cooktop and stove right there. Now, if I wanted to put full-size appliances in the travel trailer, can I do it? Uh, yeah, you can. Okay. Yeah. Again, it's all about what space you want to give up, right? Yep. And then coming into the bathroom, we had that vanity here. Yep. Medicine cabinet, toilet. And then that fire hydrant. That fire hydrant. But listen, guys, that bathroom, again, we we just have that, that quality standard of a bathroom that is is practical and realistic. There's yeah. no there's no need to shove yourself into a tiny little 4x4 four four bathroom. All of our villas are going to have house-like amenities and sizes of a bathroom. That's a big thing for people. Yeah, absolutely. And then we're going upstairs here. Going to shop up off there, up there. And then there we go. It's a lot of space. Yep, lots of storage space with the dresser, yep. skylight. Queen, I don't even need to talk bed, about skylight, dresser area, and then some chill space. Hey, I loved it. I think uh, I think you guys killed it. Yeah. I mean, you you continue every single week to just wow me, right? So I love it. Yeah, I love it, guys. Hopefully, you loved it. 
We were going to be on the road this week. We are. Hey, all week, guys, Monday through Friday, we're on the road. Follow us. We'll be going live.